Today we're going to be talking about Rocket. Rocket is the new way of pipe coding. Here you can just go ahead, prompt, develop, iterate over your development and then deploy in the same application. And they support frameworks like Flutter, HTML, Next.js and React. Also integrations like GitHub, Sopabase, Figma and much more. And you can go ahead and choose any of their templates, whether you want to create a web app, or a mobile app they're going to give you a custom workspace related to your objective needs we can even go ahead and start with the template which i'm going to be doing later on in this video but before that let's talk about what do we get for free using rocket.new so first off if you go to your account settings right here you can see that you get 2 million free tokens and if you want to upgrade, they're going to give you 5 million tokens for 20 bucks. They even have this booster plan. So it's up to you which plan you want to go with. But we can even go ahead and integrate our Superbase, Figma, Netlify and all of these other integrations if we wanted to. We just have to click on this switch here and this should connect our Superbase or any other application. And you're going to have a very basic profile here. We also have the feature to import wireframes or designs from Figma. We can even attach documents and we can choose whether our project is going to be a public project or a private project. But for private, you will have to purchase their paid plans. Okay, so keep that in mind. With that said, let's actually get started with the video and start testing this out. So first, I'm going to test out one of the templates and then we're going to build something from scratch. So with that said, let's get started with the video. Hi and welcome back to School Cup. This is Ahosham Riz and we're finally getting started with the video. So we're here at rocket.new which is Rocket Beta and we're going to go to templates here. So here you can see we have landing page templates, web apps, brand website, internal tool web, mobile app and dashboards. So I'm just going to go with one of the dashboards here. I'm going to go with the pharmacy inventory. So use this template. And as soon as you click on use this template and you will see something like this. So this is a prompt that we gave to rocket.new and it has created this dashboard for me. So you can see we're currently being the home tab and I can just go ahead and go to different tabs here. If I want to go to the operations monitor. So this is the tab for that. This is really cool. I can just go ahead and cancel out these notifications here. Okay. So we have med inventory. There are operations, compliance, analytics, and we also have a profile here, which I can sign out and settings. We also have a system status, like whether the system is connected or not. So we got a lot of things here, like quick actions. And this is quite thorough dashboard prepared by Rocky.new. I really like this. So I can just go ahead and publish this if I wanted to. So there you go. You can see that it has been published and and I can go ahead and update it whenever I want to, whenever I make some changes to it. And I can even go ahead and unpublish it. But for now, let's go ahead and click on this URL. So this should take us to our dashboard, which looks something like this. We also have selectors like main pharmacy, emergency pharmacy, and outpatient pharmacy. These are the three main pharmacies in any hospital out there. And this was built on top of React. But this was just one example. Now let's go ahead and make something from scratch. So we're going to be building a mobile app and I'm just going to go ahead and paste in the prompt here and then we can talk about the prompt. So this one is going to be a really extensive prompt where I'm going to design and build a visually stunning and highly functional workout planner. And this is for iOS and Android both. So we can use either React or Flutter and it supports both of them. As you can see, we're gonna use modern design principles and smooth UI UX. And the goal is to help users plan, track, and stay motivated in their fitness journey. And then I have some core features right over here, which is like progress tracker, visualize stats, we have reminders and notifications and much more. Let's go ahead and actually proceed with this and check out the results because I'm really looking forward to this. So as soon as I hit enter, it's going to start working on it. So as you can see, it's understanding the request right now and then it's going to start working on it. So it has decided that it's going to be using Flutter for building this mobile app because I have the tech requirements right here in the prompt Flutter or React Native. So it chose Flutter which is good i would say so let's wait for it to actually generate the code for us so once it's done analyzing the request it's going to give you a list of screens you want to keep so make sure you only keep what you need because all of this directly relates to the number of tokens you're going to consume 
as you can see here token consumption is directly related to the number of screens generated so i need a lot of things here so splash screen yes and onboarding flow yes i need that i want one home dashboard and i also want one workout planner i do not want active workout workout details no i don't want a workout library because this is just more like a planner and yes progress tracking is a must goal setup screen is a must i can even add the user profile and just build my mobile app so we're gonna have splash screen onboarding flow goal setup screen home dashboard workout planner and user profile so let's actually go and build these six screens which are selected and now it's gonna start working on these six screens and once it is complete they're gonna give us the output so there you go it's actually generating the preview for me right now but you can see we have the splash screen we have goal setup home dashboard workout and user profile but we failed to add onboarding flow and it's gonna retry that so it has created animated splash screen with fitness logo and it has implemented everything else but now it's actually working on generating the preview and we can click here to actually go ahead and retry the onboarding flow but first we're gonna be checking out the preview just to have a general idea of how our application is going to look like so there you go you can see fit plan pro is your fitness journey starts here and i might have to retry because onboarding flow is failing here so let me retry this one and actually build the screen we can also switch screens by just clicking here i really like this onboarding setup so how this is going to work is that you go to your splash screen and as soon as it loads it's going to take you to the onboarding screen where you can actually onboard yourself with the application or you can skip it if you wanted to and we can switch between phone sizes or screens for this preview we can either use iphone 14 pro iphone se pixel 9 or google galaxy s23 so i'm just gonna go with this screen here and let's actually go ahead and publish this and view this so i'm just gonna go ahead and publish and as soon as this is published you can view this by just copying this link or clicking on it so this is how the deployed preview is gonna look like and get started as soon as you get started it's gonna take you to your fitness goals whether you want to lose weight gain muscle or stay fit so i want to stay fit and that's it next workout preferences so i want three days a week and i'm a beginner and i just have dumbbells i like cardio and strength and that's it let's continue so now it knows what are my goals what do i have and how do i want the workout to be so there you go we have some stats here a workout that i can start by clicking here we have the quote of the day which is really cool and some upcoming workouts like yoga flow cardio blast upper body strength this is what i selected just now so this is how you can build fully functional mobile applications that you can even charge your clients to build and you're only using a free ai tool which is rocket.new then go ahead try this out and let me know what you think about it in the comments with that said i want to wrap this video up i hope this video was valuable if you found this video insightful hit the like button share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video till then stay curious and keep exploring